Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2 C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 61 and the question we're doing is number 19. It reads, at a certain moment in the Tour de France, Alberto is 22 meters behind Gustave. Alberto is cycling at 12 meters per second and accelerating at 1 meters per second squared. Gustave, is a, who just had a puncture, starts from rest and accelerates with acceleration 2 meters per second squared. To mind the garbage inside that, basically it says that one man is behind another man. One starts from rest and one doesn't. So I'm going to say we have A and G on our speed time diagram as normal. Now that, to be honest, what I've drawn it there is not any good to us because it actually doesn't tell us anything. So instead I'm going to use our UVAST. We'll say A for Alberto, G for Gustav. Alberto starts at 12 meters per second and accelerates at 1. Gustav starts at rest and accelerates at 2. Now what do we know? We know if they overtake each other, uh, that means they've travelled at the same, the time they've taken is the same. So for example, say here is the starting point, that's where we'll say Gustav is, and if he is, he moves this distance before he's overtaken, or before he, uh, let's see who's, one second now, just, Alberto is behind Gustav, yeah. Alright, there's Gustav here, and we'll say back here is Alberto, like that. And if Alberto travels this distance, so Alberto will travel a larger distance than Gustav. However, the time taken will be the same. T equals T. That's the first thing. So, we know that Alberto is 22 meters behind Gustav. So he has to travel 22 meters more than Gustav. So we'll say he travels S2 plus 22 meters. And we'll just call this S2. So whatever distance Gustav travels, Alberto travels 22 meters more. So next we'll use V is equal to U plus AT. So V is equal to 12 plus 1 times T. So it's 12 plus T like that. S is equal to U plus V over 2 times T. But in this case I'm actually going to use that S is equal, remember the times are the same. I'm going to say that S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared like that. So it's equal to 12t plus a half 1 times t squared. So it's 12t plus t squared over 2. Okay. Like that. Next, this guy v is equal to 0 plus 2t. Sorry. 2t and his distance is ut plus a half at squared. So it's 0 times t plus a half 2t squared. So that's equal to t squared. Like that. Now, let's find out the two distances that they traveled. If uh, we'll call this distance here s1. So s1 is equal to 12t plus t squared over 2 and we know that s2 is equal to t squared they're the things that we know however we know also that s1 is equal to s2 plus 22 so if we add 22 onto the uh, add, sorry if we add 22 onto this it's equal here so we'll have we'll say watch this s1 is equal to 12t plus t squared over 2 is equal to t squared plus 22 Remember, Gustav has to travel uh, 22 meters less than Alberto. So add 22 meters on and they have the same distances. So let's just rub out the clutter here. Like that. And multiply by 2. So 24t plus t squared is equal to t squared, 2t squared plus 44. Bring, we'll say everything to one side, so 2t squared, well that's actually 1t squared, excuse me, t squared minus 24t plus 44 is equal to 0. So let's note that up here and I'll move back up a second. Now, we have, remember what a polynomial is, a polynomial is something with powers involved. So here we have a polynomial. And the highest power is 2, so it's a polynomial of degree 2. We call a polynomial of degree 2 a quadratic. 
And to get the roots of a quadratic, use the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And I never use the method of like, we'll say that this method here. I find it doesn't necessarily always work. So once again, so a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 24, and c is equal to plus 44 like that. So the roots are minus 24, minus b is a uh, minus times minus is 24 plus or minus. I'm going to do the square root here in the calculator. So b squared is minus 24 squared minus 4 times 1 times 44. 400, square root that, get 20 over 2a, which is 2. So we have two answers here. One is 24 plus 20, which is 44, divided by 2. Um, so we have 22 meters. And the other one is 24 minus 20 over 2. So that's 2 meters, or not 2 meters, 2 seconds. So I tell you that this one here, 2 seconds, is correct. The, then right, the next part is after how long more will Gustav overtake Alberto again? So just before I do, I'm going to check this at the back of the book. Now, what this is after telling us is that after two, meet, after two seconds and 22 seconds, they'll have travelled the same distance. So the overtaking will have taken place after 22 seconds. So he, they've over, they're, at, they're together at two seconds, they're together at 22 seconds. So how long more after two seconds are they be overtaken? That's 20 seconds. That's correct as well. Like that. So that was reasonably straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.